This is a demonstration of how to set the default properties in Manual D duct size. The first thing you should do after dragging and dropping a new supply main trunk object onto the drawing is to set the defaults for the system. To do that, first right click the duct, then click General Duct Settings and Duct Defaults for this system. Then on the Duct Defaults dialog, you can set the default properties for trunks and runouts that you want to connect to this system. Let's set the trunks to have a default material name of aluminum and the runouts to default to flexible duct. Now let's also set the default register size to 4 inches by 12 inches. Click OK and these settings will be saved for this main trunk. The defaults that we just defined for trunks and runouts are applied to them only after they are connected to the system. Notice that the material name property for this supply trunk object is still set to galvanized steel because it hasn't been connected to the main trunk yet. Once we connect it to the system, the material name changes to aluminum. The same goes for a supply runout object. The defaults that we defined earlier are applied to it only after it is connected to the system. Notice that the material name property is still galvanized steel and the register size is still 12 inches by 12 inches. But once we connect it to the system, the defaults are applied to that runout. And the material name property and the register size and the other properties are all updated to match the defaults. Thank you for watching this demonstration of how to set the default properties in manual D duct size.